So, uh, good evening. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you, Carlile, Nathan, Antonio. Uh, thank you all for this uh, great meeting. Uh, so, I will talk about graph coloring problems with distance constraints and the correlation with distance geometry and some results. Uh, this work is part of the PhD thesis of my student, Bruno Dias, co-advisored by Maculan, Nelson Maculan. And we have some partners, Javier Marenco from Argentina, uh, Jaime Sozifiter from uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, also, and Philippe Michelon from France. And so, I will give an overview of our results. Uh, we have some results in peer graph theory. Uh, we proposed some new uh, graph coloring problems with distance constraints. Uh, based on uh, distance geometry theory and for, for these uh, uh, models, uh, we proposed some integer programming formulations. I will present one of them. I will present also uh, a constraint programming approach, briefly, and some results in polyhedral combinatorics based on uh, our, uh, the, the IP formulation that I will present. So, uh, in, the, in the classic vertex coloring problem, or K coloring, we have a set of uh, vertices, a set of edges, and we want to, to give a, a, a coloring uh, such that ad adjacent uh, vertices must be different colors. So a possible one is this, uh, blue, yellow, yellow, pink, pink, green, and so on. Uh, this is a proper coloring of this graph, a proper four coloring. Uh, we applied four color here, but we want to minimize the number of the colors. So uh, the best solution is this, with three colors only. Uh, we don't need of the yellow color. We can rearrange the colors. So we have uh, only three. And so we determine the chromatic number of this graph. And uh, the classical vertex coloring problem, the optimization vertex, uh, consists in uh, minimize the number of the colors of the graph. Another way to view the adjacent constraint is this. Uh, we have natural number for represent colors, and so the absolute difference between the values assigned to adjacent, adjacent uh, vertices must be greater than or equal one. Okay? Uh, there are a lot of uh, variations of uh, graph coloring problems with additional constraints on the vertices and on the edges. For example, list coloring, you have uh, an available of colors for each uh, vertex, and you have to, to choice to select one of them. Uh, we can uh, want to color with, one, uh, with more than one color, a multicoloring problem, and so on. For additional uh, constraints on the edge, we have the general version uh, called uh, t-coloring. In this case, for our adjacency uh, constraint, uh, uh, this constraint must to be uh, respect uh, a forbidden set of values. Yeah. Uh, a special case, as uh, we saw, is this uh, the vertex coloring problem, okay coloring. In our research, we are interested in, uh, in weighted edges, uh, the distance constraints, uh, and some conditions uh, with arbitrary values uh, among the edges, um, with uniform values, but not necessarily one, is another kind of problem. And also, uh, in feasibility and optimality conditions, 
such as uh, equality constraints, not only greater than or equal, and also less than or equal. And uh, we have applied distance geometry theory, mathematical programming, integer programming, constraint programming, graph theory, and polyhedral combinatorics. Oh my God. And when applicable, we want to minimize the span, minimize the maximum color applied, rather than determine the chromatic number. For the, the classical uh, version, the vertex color uh, coloring problem, the same, the both are the same. They minimize the, the number of colors and minimize the span. But for another versions, no. And this is more important for us. Without loss of generality, uh, we call it the, these variations in a class, in a general class, that we call uh, distance coloring problems in graphs. In the literature, for this spe specific case, uh, 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 they call bandwidth coloring problem, BCP, or channel assignment problem in telecommunications, uh, and generalized coloring problem. So, uh, we proposed some problems in this uh, uh, space, uh, correlating them with the, the classical hier hierarchy of the graph coloring problems and also with the hierarchy of distance geometry problems, um, uh, normally the one DGP, the DGP in one dimension. Uh, these are our uh, partners in graph theory, Jaime Sozifeter, in constraint programming, Philippe Michelon, in uh, mainly in polyhedral combinatorics, Javier Marenko, and integer programming distance geometry, Maculan, in all of the, the results. Uh, this is my uh, student, and here, uh, we, uh, we were in, the, in a Latin American conference on operational research when uh, uh, we celebrated the, se the 70 years of the Maculan. <laughs> in the following year, we organized the, the first DGA. Uh, this is the, the banner, and this is the uh, address, the link. If you want, Maculan was the general chair, Carlili was the uh, program chair, and I, and myself, the local, the local chair. And here is one of the moments that, that the DG group convinced me to organize this workshop, because <laughs> until this, I didn't know nothing about uh, distance geometry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, we had a special issue of the uh, discrete applied mathematics uh, with the selected uh, papers. <laughs> what? Same scar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and so uh, my place is, is here uh, in the northwest of Brazil. Manaus, the capital of the state of Amazonas, uh, a huge state. Uh, it's a huge city, Manaus, uh, with two million uh, people and many uh, urban problems. But near to the Amazon River and the, the meeting of the waters, the famous meeting of the waters, uh, uh, famous buildings as the Amazon Theater, and a huge industrial pole with many multinational and uh, the Amazon rainforest also. Uh, my university is inside of the third, uh, the third, the third largest fragment of forest in, in a urban area. <laughs> this is my university. And so, uh, I was in the Institute of Computing there. Okay. 
So, about colorings, distance geometry, and the channel assignment problem. Uh, in the channel assignment problem in telecommunications, in our bio wireless, wireless networks, we have a set of transmitters or antennas uh, and uh, a demand of calls, and we want to assign uh, channels to, to this demand. And we have, um, without loss of generality, uh, a kind of technological or geographical uh, distance uh, to ma uh, mass to, to respect. So uh, we can uh, mapping for a graph where the antennas are the, the vertices and the, the distance are the weighted edges. And so uh, we want to, to attend this demand, one, one call, one call, one call, one call, and here uh, is a, a possible solution. We can assign the, the color six here and one here, six minus one is five, greater than or, or equal. Uh, five, in this case, equal. Uh, five minus one, four. Five minus three, two, and so on. This is a feasible solution for this. Um, the, the first uh, research that uh, uh, treats with the peak coloring, uh, it, he called generalized coloring problem, GCP, was Hale in 1980. But uh, we have another version, a multicoloring version. And in this case, we have uh, a multi-demand in a list of available uh, channels. It's a constrained resource in telecommunications. So here we have um, a multicoloring solution here. Uh, we selected one and two from the list of available colors. Here we selected the color four, and uh, four minus two, or two minus four in module, uh, is two, greater, greater than or equal two. Four mi minus one, greater than or equal two. And here, the color one from the list, and also four minus one, three. Here, uh, the color uh, six, seven, eight, three colors from the list, and so on. The same case, okay? Um, so we have a paper on, on ITOR, and also in archive, available online in archive, and published in, in the ITOR journal. About our, uh, the correlation uh, among these problems with distance geometry. So for us, a coloring uh, uh, is a realization on the line, on the real line, considering natural numbers. So uh, in this case, we have this projection, the color one to number one, the color six to number six, and six minus, minus one, five, six minus one, five, and so on. Five here, and five, five minus one, four, there is a distance, a distance at least four, and, and so on. Uh, then, for us, uh, we have a set, of, uh, a set of line segments. We can get uh, zero sphere intersections. Uh, so, in this case, we have the segment uh, two one, two one, with one and five, with distance four, and the next one, uh, two three, net color one and six point one and six, and the distance, and so on. Uh, in this case, the intersection is uh, only in the, in the extremes of the, the, the line segment. But if you have a multimedia network, another uh, work, we can have uh, the intersection uh, in, the, in the internal points of the, the line segments. 
ok? So, we define, based on this, we define uh, some problems, some, some um, uh, distance geometry problem. The first one oh, was this, uh, our adjacent constraint, the quality and arbitrary values, um, minimize the span, these conditions, né? the arbitrary values and the quality. You want to determine the feasibility conditions in this case. It's not a, a optimi optimization version. Uh, in this case, uh, we have just uniform values, uh, for example, two, and minimal equal color in DG with uniform distances, the general one. And in this case, for uh, equality uh, uh, constraints, uh, we proved that is NP com uh, complete, but it's so trivial based on the DGP in one dimension and, and one embeddability. It's the same. Uh, for, uh, to prove that belongs to NP, uh, we can give a trivial uh, polynomial algorithm, algorithm to check uh, if a solution is a solution uh, in n square time, n in, uh, the number of the, the vertices of the graph. And uh, Sex in 1979 proved uh, the, the NP hardness. Uh, 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 doing a, a polynomial reduction from the uh, partition sum to the, the embeddability. It's the same here. If we have, we have a set of integer values, so if you have a bipartition, a bipartition uh, with the same uh, uh, total sum, uh, we have a solution in this case, and so we have also a solution here. Uh, uh, it's sufficient a, a click, a, sorry, a cycle, a graph that is a cycle uh, to prove. So if we have this, we have a solution here. Uh, 457, 457, and 169, 169. And we can uh, uh, put the color one here, the color 8, 8 minus 1, 7, 8 minus 2, 6, 7 minus 2, 5, and so on. We have a feasible solution. But if we not have a solution here in, pa in partition sum, we don't have also in, the, in this case, in the cycle, cycle graph. It's impossible to determine, to, to give a color for the vertex five. Okay? This proof is the same that uh, Liu presented uh, briefly in his presentation. But uh, if you have uh, the problem with equalities and arbitrary solution, uh, we can have solution or not. We can have a feasible solution or not. When? Uh, we proved that easily also. If we have a bipartite graph, a graph uh, with even cycle, we always have a solution. If you have an odd cycle, not by bipartite graph, we doesn't have. This is so important for uh, uh, pre-processing uh, cases of the, the integer programming, for example. Because uh, uh, the uh, oh, 18, uh, 8 percent or more of the graphs uh, have odd cycles. Okay? Most of the graphs has odd cycles. And the solution, the proof is, is trivial in this case. Uh, if the graph is bipartite, has uh, even cycle, trees, uh, paths, uh, stars, and so on, we can put the color one here, and one plus the uniform value in another partition. So, okay, done. 
But if you have odd cycles, we don't have uh, the, gu the guarantee of we have a solution. In some specific cases, we have, and we've proved it also for, for some cases. So we have another result uh, based on this to get the, the, the feasibility conditions of uh, this problem. But in this case, we have the adjacency constraint uh, with the greater than or equal inequality and arbitrary values. The most famous problem, optimization problem, uh, related to the, the BCP, the bandwidth coloring problem, and the channel assignment problem. Uh, but this is our uh, distance geometry model. And also, uh, uh, I will give uh, after uh, an integer programming formulation. In the same way, we have the case with uniform values. Yeah. And our hierarchy of distance coloring problems is here. The, the uh, adjacent, adjacent constraints with, uniform, with equality and uniform val values is equivalent to VCP. Uh, for arbitrary va values is equivalent to bandwidth and chain assignment problem. And here, the better is put here. The one DGP, the DGP one dimension, is related to our uh, mean uh, 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 greater than or equal, no, oh, sorry, uh, equal equality and arbitrary values. <laughs> and in this case, uh, is related to T-color. Our solution methods, uh, we applied uh, an integer programming approach, a constraint programming approach, and in, in some cases with some results in, in the polytope of the formulation, the IP formulation. Uh, we have another uh, paper available online, optimization online, but also accepted on HIRO a uh, European journal on operational research, a, Fran a French journal. Mm. It's an international journal now. It's considered international. Ah, yeah, OK. Great. It's not European it nor French. Nor it's French. considered international. OK. <laughs> Better for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Liu and Maculan are involved with the Hyrule. No? no? Oh, OK. Uh, so, uh, and we have another uh, paper with this specific IP model that I will present now, uh, oriented based model, uh, to appear at discrete applied mathematics and available on the electronic notes in discrete mathematics. Uh, 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 the proceedings of the, the, this conference. So, uh, in this case, based on an IP formulation proposed for another problem by Marinko, uh, our partner from uh, Argentina, and others before for another, uh, a simple uh, version. And in this case, we have uh, two sets of decision variables. One, one set, uh, the xi, uh, consists in uh, the color assigned to, to vertex i, and another one, uh, yij, uh, that receives the value 1 if uh, the color assigned, the color is a natural number, the color assigned to, to this variable i is smaller than the, the other, the j. Is zero otherwise. And we have another variable, the maximum used color that we can uh, determine the value. And a, constant, a set of constants, the set of available colors. So we have uh, two sets of distance constraints. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, the two similar case, in this case, if the xj, xj uh, minus xi is greater than or equal the arbitrary distance, 
Uh, so, uh, of course, xi is smaller than xj, and we set the variable to 1. And otherwise, we set to 0. And this is our bound for our uh, uh, value that, that we want to determine the, the span, um, the maximum used color, and integra integrality constraints. So, it's easily to, to present here. Uh, we have a set of vertex and the, the values of xi, vari decision variables, two here. For the vertex two, four, three, one, and four, five. And for another set of decision variables, uh, the color two is smaller than four. So we have this orientation and set to one. This case, the two is greater than one. So the orientation is inverse. And we have the value is zero. And in this case, we have two and five. So this orientation is valid and receive one. And we give it uh, an, orienta an orientation of, uh, for the, the graph in this one. Okay. Um, so, this is a, our IP formulation. We have some uh, experiment, experimental uh, computational results, but we have also some uh, results in uh, based on the polytope of this formulation. Five. Okay. Well, uh, we want to determine the convex who of our problem, but this is a NP hard uh, problem. Uh, with our IP formulation, with a, uh, an IP formulation, IP formulation, we get a polytope, this, and we can uh, provide cuts, valid inequalities, this one. And if, if this valid inequality is a facet, we can prove, we prove it, we can got, we can get uh, this a facet of the convex hull of the, the the problem. So uh, uh, we determine the polytope with some valid uh, inequalities that induce a facet. Uh, so we have a big U as a big M. Uh, must be an upper bound on available colors. Um, I have to, okay. Uh, we determine that our polytope uh, uh, based on the graph, the set of distance and the big U is full dimensional and we proved this. Uh, if uh, the U uh, respected this condition and so. And uh, here I will present two classes of facets, click uh, inequalities and double click inequalities. For the double click, uh, for the click inequalities, we have to set another, uh, uh, we have to define another set of variables, ji, we have ij, and uh, one of them uh, must be one, uh, only one of them, the set of constraints. And so, I will present here is better. If we have, uh, for each ver vertex, if you have a click uh, on, on the neighborhood of the, ver the, vert the vertex, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, get a strong lower bound for the decision variable. The normal is zero, but here we get a, a stronger one. So, um, uh, uh, we, we get the, the, the smaller value, value here, two, this is two, and here for four, one. And for this case, two, one of them. And so we have this, uh, each decision variable uh, can be zero or one, but uh, in any case we have a stronger a uh, more robust uh, lower bound for the decision variable. This is our click inequality. For the double click inequality, it's the same, 
uh, but now we have two vertices, I and J, and if, if we have a click né, shared uh, by the two uh, vertices, né, we can get another uh, correlation né, for them, okay? And we, we proved this. So, uh, two? Okay. Uh, 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 we proved that our polytope is four-dimensional and two families of valid inequality that uh, induces facet in our uh, polytope. Um, the same, the same uh, reference. And based on this, uh, we have a constraint programming uh, formulation based on the branch and prune appro approach, but a, a, a more efficient uh, with a more efficient uh, way to, to give in the propagation, the pruning, and control the domain of the variables. And we, we got uh, better results than the, our uh, previous versions of the branch and prune. Uh, so, about the computational experiments, we uh, uh, got several results. Uh, applying CPLEX, applying a, a, a code in C++, uh, with some uh, uh, configuration. Also, uh, ah, uh, there are several uh, instances from uh, non benchmarks uh, one of them based on uh, famous cities around the world, Philadelphia, Helsinki, and other. And another one, Jean, uh, uh, gave by Michael Trick during uh, a conference here in Dimex, uh, a long time ago. And so, this is a, a kind of instance. Uh, we, we also uh, applied the cloud computing platform, but it's not important. And we got uh, uh, optimal uh, results for several of the instances, uh, proved optimality, uh, got achieved uh, better upper bounds, and summarized. Uh, for the GeoM instances, uh, more, more uh, harder uh, instances than the, the, the city instances. Uh, we achieved this result, oh, this result up to 80%. For the city instances, we solved all of them. And, ah, uh, we found some inconsistencies found in, 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 in uh, seated papers, uh, so seated papers. And uh, in general, the CP is, be is best for uh, the, the classical IP formulation and IP for the multicoloring. And so uh, I think our, our methods is so competitive. We also uh, implemented the cut and branch to control, until CPLEX uh, controlling the cuts uh, we got uh, uh, great results, and so to conclude, uh, this is our work, and we continue to, to work with this. So it's a summarizer of our results. <laughs> Tests were carried out on CPLEX 12.5.1. That's a little old. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, about the, the, the version of the. So yeah. Now there's, I, I don't remember what version is now, maybe 12.5. At, at 13, that, that we, we applied. But what about the, the oh, you, 12? You wrote 12. Point ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And so after 13. Okay. Is 13 out? 
I think the 12.9. I think that is available 13. Yeah. But OK, I, okay uh, yeah. this so result is I think about they need to be updated because this could change. I mean, it could be much better. There's also, you, you, you said the thread is equal to 1. Yeah. Why? I mean, branch and bound is, is, is fine if you give it four CPUs. No, because it's more, it's more uh, if we, if we uh, don't control this, uh, we can have five threads. It's not a, a, a fair uh, comparison if we put more than, than on it's three. Debatable. Okay, because if an algorithm this is one. able to use it, uh, then you could say that this is to the advantage of the algorithm. But I'm sa what I'm saying here is that if you re re repeat these experiments with threads, Free, oh, okay. as many as you yes. want, then you could, you could close more instances. There are some instances where the yes. optimum is unknown, and maybe you can find a new yes. optimum. So this is, this is something that is precious. So you can guarantee a, a, an optimum that, is, that was not guaranteed before. So I understand the comparison, but then you have to you know, give all the power to CPLEX to see what it can do. Yeah, we have some results uh, 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 given uh, uh, more, more threads, but in this case we put one causes a fair uh, no, comparison. comparison. But for the best results yes, yes, in the, yes. for uh, uh, largest instances, yes. could be. Yeah, of course. More one question? Okay, thanks again, Hosiani.